Former child stars are just like the rest of us, except for the fact that they've grown up in front of the entire world and usually have crazy bank accounts. These celebs have pretty nice houses, but that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to their lifestyles. It's pretty much guaranteed that Miley Cyrus lived a pretty pampered life from day one thanks to the fact that her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus, is a country music star in his own right. She achieved an entirely new level of fame, though, as a child star on the hit Disney show Hannah Montana. Thanks to her early success, Miley Cyrus can now live an insanely lavish life that includes a $5.8 million mansion in her home state of Tennessee. The home is over 6,800 square feet and boasts more than 33 acres. That's not the only multi-million dollar property that has been in Cyrus's portfolio, however. She reportedly sold her Malibu mansion for $1.7 million in 2020, after splitting with ex Liam Hemsworth. Before that, in 2018, she sold her Hidden Hills California horse farm for around $5 million, according to Variety. According to the Daily Star, she even has a pricey Range Rover to drive around her dogs since they aren't allowed in any of the cars she reserves for her own use. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Drew Barrymore has earned a jaw-dropping fortune of $125 million over the course of her career, beginning with her role in E.T. when she was just six years old. Given her decades-long career and her vast fortune, it's no surprise that she's living an insanely lavish life that includes a $6 million farmhouse in Sagaponac, New York. While her publicist told the New York Post in 2019 that Barrymore was only renting the home, other sources said that the house was only up for sale, not rent. Either way, Barrymore has forked over quite a bit of cash to stay in the 5,000-square-foot home. In 2012, Marie Claire noted that Barrymore married her now ex-husband Will Kopelman in a star-studded wedding while wearing a Chanel wedding dress. They were married at her massive Montecito estate that she later put on the market for $9.995 million. People sometimes forget that one of Hollywood's leading men, Leonardo DiCaprio, got his start in Hollywood as a child star. The young DiCaprio filmed dozens of commercials before rising to fame on shows like Parenthood and Growing Pains when he was still in his teens. Today, his worth is a jaw-dropping $260 million, as noted by Celebrity Net Worth. DiCaprio may not have grown up in a rich neighborhood, but he now has enough money to buy an entire neighborhood if he wants to. In 2005, he forked over $1.75 million for a 104-acre island in Belize called Blackador Key. As reported by Travel and Leisure, DiCaprio later announced plans to turn Blackador Key into an eco-resort. There's anything that you want. Just ask for it, old sport. It was hard to view Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe's life as anything but insanely lavish when he purchased a couple of multi-million dollar homes in Manhattan in the 2000s. While those pricey homes could be chalked up to simply needing a place to live in the most expensive place in the U.S., Radcliffe made one extravagant purchase when he was 17 that proves he was already living a super-rich life a custom-made Savoir mattress that cost him a whopping $17,000, according to People. That may sound like an outrageously large sum for a mattress to those of us who weren't child stars, but to Radcliffe, $17,000 is just a small fraction of the $110 million that Celebrity Net Worth estimates he has. Selena Gomez has racked up millions of dollars in film credits since she landed on Barney and Friends in 2002. Five years later, she cemented her child star status on the Disney Channel show Wizards of Waverly Place. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Gomez is worth an estimated $75 million. With that kind of cash in the bank, it's no wonder that she thinks nothing of picking up a $30,000 birthday party tab like she did for then-boyfriend The Weeknd in 2017. Gomez has also had the requisite list of luxury homes in her arsenal like so many former kid celebrities, including a Calabasas home she put on the market for a cool $6.6 .6 million in January 2020, according to People. Perhaps the thing that proves more than anything that Gomez is living an insanely lavish life is her workout routine. According to E! News, Gomez's favorite workout is a hot Pilates class at a Los Angeles studio where private sessions with the studio's owner cost $300 an hour. Before he was a world-famous rapper with millions in the bank, Drake was going by his birth name, Aubrey Graham. Under that name, Drake was a child star on Degrassi, The Next Generation. Drake has talked about his childhood, saying that while he grew up on TV, his family didn't have much money. He told Complex, We were very poor, like broke. A season of Canadian television is under a teacher's salary, I'll tell you that much. 
That's all changed now, though, because he now has more money than he knows what to do with. When he's not staying in one of his three multi-million dollar homes, the superstar lives a jet-setting lifestyle, complete with his own private jet. Hollywood leading lady Natalie Portman is also a former child star, having gotten her start in her acting career in Leon, the professional, playing 12-year-old Matilda. Since then, Natalie Portman has accrued a massive fortune. According to Celebrity Net Worth, the star is worth an impressive $60 million, and she makes the most of it with her vacation home. As noted by Elle Decor, the $6.5 million home boasts four bedrooms, five baths, and sits on 10.4 acres with views of the Pacific Ocean. Portman also seems to have a lavish taste in vehicles. In 2012, Auto Evolution noted that she was driving a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. Portman also has a love of designer fashion, especially Dior. For Ariana Grande, virtually nothing is out of reach. In 2017, Grande and then-boyfriend Mac Miller went on a Colorado vacation and stayed in an Airbnb called the Pulitzer Mansion that cost $10,500 a night. The former Victoria star likes to be surrounded by all the comforts from home, even when she travels. In 2019, The Sun noted that she chartered a plane to have two of her dogs flown out to Glasgow where she had a gig. The dogs reportedly had their own room in Grande's lavish hotel suite, which cost a whopping 2,500 pounds a night. They even had their own personal pet sitter to pamper them during their stay. Most people have to budget their weddings and honeymoons carefully, saving up for one of the biggest events of their lives. If you're Hilary Duff, though, you don't have to worry about having to save up for your dream wedding. The Lizzie McGuire star married Matthew Coma at their Los Angeles home in December 2019, wearing a custom-made Jenny Packham dress. Coma had previously proposed with a stunningly huge diamond that Insider noted could be worth as much as $100,000. It's no big shock, then, that Coma and Duff also went all out on their honeymoon. Instead of taking a trip to a nice beach or perhaps heading to a European city, they went on a lavish safari in South Africa. Duff is clearly the type to go big or go home. Another perk of the star's lavish lifestyle is her skincare routine, which, according to the New York Times, includes Peter Thomas Roth's 24K gold face mask. Duff is also a big fan of La Mer's luxury moisturizer that retails for an eye-watering $180 for one ounce. The key to soft skin, like mine, is exfoliation. Exfoliation. The Big Bang Theory might be what many people best know Kaylee Cuoco for, but she's been on screen for most of her life. Now Cuoco is living an insanely lavish life, but she isn't keeping her entire fortune to herself. In 2013, ABC News reported that Cuoco gifted her mom a brand new Lexus RX350 for Christmas. The following year, the Daily Mail reported that she was seen snagging a fancy car for herself, an SLS AMG GT Mercedes-Benz. Cuoco's lavish lifestyle isn't limited to getting herself and her family nice cars. Variety noted in February that Cuoco and her husband, Carl Hook, purchased a Hidden Hills estate for the sum of $11.75 million. It's no surprise that Scarlett Johansson is rich. The actress has been acting for decades, after all, dating back to 1994's North. Now, Johansson is known not just for her acting talent, but also for her insanely lavish lifestyle. According to Architectural Digest, she snatched up a 4,000-square-foot home in Palisades, New York for $4 million. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Johansson's extravagant properties, though. In 2014, she purchased a home in Amagansett, New York for $2.2 million, and she also bought a $3 million home in Los Angeles. In 2019, The Observer noted that the actress had purchased a Lois Dodd painting. While it's unclear how much she forked over for the original work of art, it's safe to assume that she paid a pretty penny. Claire Danes admitted herself that the honeymoon she went on after marrying Hugh Dancy was one that only those with an insane amount of wealth could afford. The couple were married in France in 2009, and since they didn't have much work ahead of them, they decided to globetrot for a while. They headed to the Mediterranean, followed by Turkey, Greece, and Italy. The My So-Called Life star is also into clubbing, stating on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that she's a big fan of the extravagant club Bergane, located in Berlin. When she's not jet-setting all over the globe, Danes has some luxury digs to stay in. In 2013, Zillow reported that she and Dancy purchased a four-bedroom, four-bathroom townhouse in Greenwich Village for over $6.876 million. 
Former child star Demi Lovato got her start in show business on Barney and Friends. Since then, she's become a household name thanks to starring in shows and films, not to mention her successful music career. Lovato is living quite the lavish life these days thanks to her millions of dollars. In February 2020, Ola reported that Lovato was putting up her $8.9 million three-floor Hollywood Hills mansion, perhaps in search of even more lavish digs? Lovato also vacations in true luxury. InStyle reported that, in 2018, she decided to share her wealth with her friends by bringing them on a group vacation. Lovato kicked it up a notch by renting out a private island, saying she wanted to ensure she had some privacy on the trip. Full House star Mary-Kate Olsen started acting as a baby. Although her last acting credit was in 2011, this star has enough money in the bank to live lavishly for the rest of her life — $250 million, according to Celebrity Net Worth. In 2015, she tied the knot with Olivier Sarkozy, a French banker and the brother of French President Nicolas Sarkozy. The couple live in the lap of luxury in their 8,000-square-foot Turtle Bay home. Curbed noted that the lavish pad includes a ballroom, a rooftop pool, and an elevator. The home cost an astonishing $13.5 million, a small sum for the wealthy power couple. Even the row the fashion line Mary-Kate Olsen helms with her sister Ashley screams luxury. In 2011, the twins launched a handbag line that included a $39,000 alligator backpack. If you're wondering who would buy it, Ashley Olsen told Women's Wear Daily that the high-priced item, quote, was the first thing that sold off the shelf. Oh, please! <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.